Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the drug remdesivir and we're going to go over its various uses but specifically we're going to talk about how it's used to help treat COVID-19 infections. So basically this drug is an antiviral, so remdesivir. Uh, remember that we're talking about the SARS-CoV-2 virus here, so this is an antiviral and it's given to treat patients who have COVID-19 infections but specifically, it's given to treat some of the more severe infections or patients who are having a lot of complications from their infection. So we know it should be given to people who are 12 years and older. Uh, it has a loading dose of about 200 milligrams IV, followed by 100 milligrams IV per day for 10 days. But the important thing to remember here is that 10 days is the maximum treatment uh, or the maximum duration of the treatment. So every time we give this drug, we should monitor the patient uh, for cardiac arrhythmias, uh, specifically tachy and bradyarrhythmias, uh, changes in blood pressure, so hypertension, hypotension, and as always, any infusion you get, you should always monitor your patient for signs of anaphylaxis. Uh, what we do know right now is that it should not be given with hydroxychloroquine uh, because it can have a direct antagonistic effect, which basically means, in simple terms, that if you take those two together, it will decrease the effectiveness of this medication, uh, so it's just not a good idea. Uh, in pregnant women, this drug has not been proven safe or unsafe uh, due to the amount of time that's been used to treat COVID-19. We haven't uh, got those studies yet, but we do know that pregnant women are at a higher risk of developing serious complications from COVID-19, so we have to weigh the risk and the reward. Uh, but basically how this drug works is that remdesivir is kind of like a secret agent uh, that works to cripple uh, this enzyme called the RDRP enzyme which the COVID-19 virus uses to replicate inside of our bodies. So I'm gonna break it down and then I'm gonna give you a very general overview of what it does. So you should walk away from this video today uh, being able to explain what remdesivir does. So if we break it down, uh, this is a pro-drug. And in case you don't know what a pro-drug is, uh, basically once the drug enters our cells, it will become its active form uh, which is basically, it's an adenosine analog called remdesivir triphosphate, or uh, it's abbreviated sometimes as RDVTP uh, for short. Uh, this is why you'll hear the drug called a nucleoside analog. Uh, but basically, this active uh, remdesivir competes for a spot in the RNA of the COVID-19 RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. So it's a, it's a mouthful, so that's why we abbreviate it as RDRP enzyme. So basically, this makes the RDP or RDRP rather enzymes activity useless. Basically, this RDRP enzyme will make new chains of RNA that have our secret agent remdesivir here in green. So basically, these RNA strands will be faulty and can cannot be used to make new viruses. Specifically, it cannot be used to make more COVID-19 virus. So what has just happened in simple terms? We've taken remdesivir, right? It is activated inside of our cells and it blocks the action of an enzyme called RDRP that the COVID-19 virus uses to replicate. So what is the end effect? So why do we care about, about uh, blocking this enzyme here? So the SARS-CoV-2 virus, AKA the COVID-19 virus, will not be able to multiply as rapidly in our bodies. So we have less virus in our bodies, which means that our patients should have less symptoms and better outcomes. So this drug will begin to work within hours, but the effects may not be felt for a few days, especially if they have those severe infections. So some of the side effects of this drug uh, that we need to watch out for, because it's an infusion, uh, we know that uh, drugs given IV are uh, they have a, a greater effect, they have a faster uh, action. Uh, so basically we need to watch out for a decreased EGFR, uh, an increased blood glucose, increase in our uh, liver function tests, so our, our liver enzymes, our AST, ALT, and in 2% of cases, cases there have been uh, seizures reported. So how do we take this into context? What does this mean? It is hard on the kidneys, the liver, and the brains of about two to 18% of people who take it who have these severe COVID infections. However, kidneys, livers, and brains are no good to us if we are dead or if we're uh, gonna die after two weeks of being on a ventilator. So we have to weigh the risk and the reward of treatment. Uh, but 
as always, thank you so much for, for taking the time to learn with us today. And remember to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, be safe.